Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do your nails like a professional. This sounds like I'm claiming to be a professional, but I'm not, okay? I just feel like I do nails pretty well. So, in order to do your nails, which you can tell that my nails have not been done very well. They're just like all messy and everything. Very uneven and they don't look the best. This is to show you guys that you can do it at home, save that money from the salon, and get really nice nails. First step is always going in with cuticle remover. The Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. You're just going to apply it around your cuticle. My nails, you apply it around the cuticle area. Right, and then they do the same for the other ones. Now this is the nice part. So they don't gotta be perfect. Yeah, so it says after 15 seconds, you're gonna push back your cuticles. And then you're gonna wash with soapy water. This is a tool to help you push back your cuticles. So you're gonna use this end. It's like curved, right? And so you use it to push back the cuticle. Just like so. Make sense? It might look like it hurts. I promise you, it doesn't hurt. Doing this helps your nails to go faster and it also helps to strengthen your nails and overall gives them a better appearance. So it is advised that you push back those cuticles, people. All right, let's go wash our nails real quick. All right, hands are all good to go. The next thing that we need to do is file. This is very important. This is the Beatles Gel Nail file it's washable i really 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 like this one this file came in a nail kit that i got with all like the beetles nail polish and stuff and i absolutely love it i don't think i've washed it technically yet but it works so well and i feel like it's so durable as opposed to other nail files where you use them like a couple times and they seem to just wear out and they're done you know what i mean and basically you're just going to file all the rough edges off of your nails and also shape your nails so there's a couple different shapes that you can do for nails they're square round coffin tons and tons of different shapes so you choose the one that you like the best i really like the round nail look i think it looks super nice so i don't normally ever do this but we're gonna do it today because Bro, what the crap? My nail just broke a bit. So I don't normally do this, but I'm going to add some fake nails to my nails because the three in the middle are all super short in comparison to all the other nails. And you know what? Christmas is coming up. And honestly, I just want to have some nice nails. In order to add fake nails, I'll just show you a couple of the steps. You're going to size out your nails first. Pick the correct nails that you need. You don't want them to hang over your nails, otherwise those are way too big and they're gonna fall off super quickly. You want them to just fit. And then you're gonna scuff up the insides of them a bit so that they'll stick to your nail with the nail glue. So that's what I'm doing right now. So this is like a little drill. The only problem I've had with the beetle nail glue is that it always leaks on me. Plug in a UV light for your nails and then you're just gonna apply the glue to the nail so you don't want to apply it across the whole entirety of the nail because the nail tends to be bigger than your actual nail so you want to do about halfway where you've scuffed up your nail I put a lot of the nail glue at the base of the nail not like a lot a lot but like more at the base of the nail because the way that you apply it is going to be specific and apply the nail on the top just like that and press it down at the bottom and then press the rest of the nail and you want to try to the best of your abilities to not get any air bubbles in it. Because if you get air bubbles, it makes it so that the nail is more likely to come off. After a couple seconds, it's on there. You see? It's on. I'll just show you an example one. So give me one second. Pretend that this has glue on the nail. You have the nail and you're going to press it down. So it starts up like this. And you put the glue at the bottom and then you press down the glue and the glue spreads to the top of the nail. I finished putting on these nails. I should have um, filed my nail a bit, but whatever. When you're doing the whole filing thing, I forgot to mention this. You want to shape your nails and everything, but then you want to file the top of the nail. Just scuff it up and everything. 
because it helps the nail polish the base coat and all the other stuff to stick on better you also want to brush off all the dust afterwards otherwise it can be like specks on your nails and what happens is when you have when you put the base coat on and you've got specks on your nails it makes it more bumpy and stuff and, and it doesn't make it look smooth and everything i'll have to shape these two because they're way too long compared to the other nails wouldn't really recommend putting on fake nails if you're doing your nails at home and the only reason why is because number one it takes a lot longer and number two it's a lot harder to do it on yourself unless you have somebody doing it for you this nail glue takes 30 to 60 seconds each of the polishes and everything tells you how long that you need it to cure for in the UV light machine. So we're going to cure this for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go file the tops of them and then we're going to start on base coat. Got the nails on. They look so much like my real nails, it's actually crazy. Can you tell which are the fake? It's these three. Now we're going to go in with some base gel. I'm using the Beatles one. I really like this brand. I feel like it works pretty well. And they've got pretty good sizes compared to some other brands which I've gotten before. One of the main things that you want to try not to do is do a super big layer of base coat. Because it will dry that way and then it'll look clumpy and weird. So you just do a thin base coat layer. And you also want to make sure to not get the base coat on your skin as well. It does not make the nails look good. So try not to do that. So I'm going to go cure this for... 90 seconds 90 to 120 seconds so let's go cure them i've decided on these nails i'll either show a picture or i'll just show you what i'm doing so we're doing green on one two and three fingers white on the middle finger and then gold on the point finger you want to get it close to your cuticle but not on your cuticle you want to get it close to the edge but not too close to the edge of your nail and the reason why is because number one you're more likely to get it on the skin and also it looks better if you leave a little bit of space and then make sure you're rounding your edges the top of your nail to make it look nice anyways that's the one now let's go do the rest uh check in once i'm all done update i've been painting my nails for a little while we're pretty much all done but i have another tip for you in case you want to up your game up your level of your nails um you can buy these gel art polishes and so basically this is like the polish and so instead of like a normal brush it's a super thin brush i don't know if you can see it but it's really thin and so you can do nail art you can do nail art designs with it. I did a little bit of a nail art design on it. I'm doing my nail art right now. But let's say you mess up the nail art. You're distraught. You're so sad you've never been sadder. And you're like, what do I do? I spent all this time doing these nails and now the nail art is all messed up. Here's my hack for you. To use acetone and it will literally cause the polish to evaporate and disappear right in front of your eyes. It is one of the best things about gel nail polish is the fact that you can just start over whatever coat you're on if you just use the acetone, right? So it's great, it's really, really great. As opposed to regular polish, because if you do regular polish, acetone is gonna take off the whole nail. Top coat on them, and then we'll be done. And some tips and tricks for top coat. Make sure you're doing thin layers. You don't wanna go super thick and get on the skin or anything like that. And then additionally, you wanna do more than just one layer of top coat. If you do two or three, it'll definitely secure the nails. And so if you're washing the dishes a lot or constantly have water on your nails, it will secure them a little bit better. So I would recommend that as well. So nails have been finished. Final step is to put cuticle oil. I've got this in a pack with some other stuff. But anyways, you're just gonna put this around the edge the same kind of way you did the um, cuticle remover except you can go a little bit more on this in terms of like with wide you don't have to be like just on the cuticle part you this just helps to strengthen your cuticle and also makes your nails look really nice the end of all your hard work it like rejuvenates and hydrates your cuticle area 
Let's rub this in a little bit. So are you guys ready to see them? The professional nails that you just did. This is them, guys. This is them. They're beautiful, right? And they cost so much less than the beauty salon because the gel polish is really cheap. And the only thing that costs money is your time. But we're already going to go to the salon and spend time there. So you're just spending time elsewhere. And I'm happy that I decided to put on the fake nails because I feel like it makes it look better since all of them are even. And hopefully it doesn't damage the uh, nails underneath it because otherwise I'll be upset because my nails are not that strong. But that's where you can use a strengthener, nail strengthener. It really helps. I was kind of weary about it. I was like, I don't know if this is going to help. Like, what can I really do? Put it on. It strengthens my nail. That's for sure. So if you're doing your gel nails and your nails end up super weak, use nail strengthener. It helps. You can put on two coats, leave it on for a little while, and then you can go ahead and do your gel nails again. That's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye. Love you guys.